In this video, I'm going to show you three super easy ways that I time my pompano rig. These rigs can also be used for any bottom fishing that you want more than one bait while still avoiding the tangles. For more fishing tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post every Wednesday. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, this is what you need for one rig. I got 5 foot of mono, a snap swivel, a barrel swivel, 2 beads, 2 number 1 hooks, and 2 pompano floats. Alright, so starting out, what I like to do is I go about a foot up, and then I come here. This one's just the real easy one. So you go a foot up, and you put this together. Okay, however long you want that, I think that's good. You just twist this around, you got that loop, and I run it through once, twice, and then I just pull that tight. Okay, and then this part. You take, you gotta, sometimes you gotta bite to tighten this down, we'll see. Um, but, yep. But so you take this and feed it through the float. Then you put your bead on. And then you take your hook. Put it through the eyelid and bring it over the hook. Sorry, this is hard to do with this camera in the middle. Hope you can see that. See, and then that just holds like that. What you have then is your rig and it'll sit like that. See, it won't when your line's in the water. It won't be getting tangled up. Alright, so this is the second one. Same thing. I want to go up a foot if I'm starting off the bottom. And come here. What I do is I twist one finger one way so the right one away from me and the left one towards me. That's a little awkward. And then if that loop at the top is too big, just pull it. Until you see, yeah, like that. Twist it a little bit more. And then once it's twisted, come here, take this, loop it over just like the other one, right? And then loop it through twice, just like the other one. Only difference between this one and the other one is we twist it, right? And sometimes. I like having it twisted because then you don't see there's not two lines here you just got the one and then follow the same process bite the end of it or pinch it however you get that down there and then put your float on then your bead And then the hook the same way. Go through there, come over the hook, pull it back. The float will make it uh, suspend while it's sitting there. So that's the second one, a little less time consuming. So from here, you twist it up, right, to where, let me see here. I don't know if you can see that. So you twist it up like that. And then you come and put a loop here. Okay. One of those that way, one of them that way. Now what I do is I put my finger through here. And I go like this. And you just over, over, just keep lapping it, right? You can do it six times. You know, whatever you prefer. And then... Take this end, put it through that hole, bring this knot above there, 
see how that's above it okay you got to watch that and then pull start pulling each side evenly and then what I do is I'll get it wet with my mouth just so you don't have any resistance on that knot okay and then I pull it in slowly Just pull it pull see how that's nice and tight you go slow because then you don't bung up your line get it hot make it weak and you see that right there that way that sucker sticks straight out sideways that's the T knot okay um, and then same steps with that one go bite the line down shove it through here in the float okay and then you put your bead on and some people will do bead float some people float bead so it's whatever your preference um, and then put this through there and just run that loop over that and there you go you got that rig that really this one stays out to the side more rigid than the other ones because the way that knot is it doesn't allow it to bend as much um, so then on this other one I'm gonna complete the top and the alright guys this is how I do mine I put two of them right next to each other well, not right next to each other they're about eight inches apart ten inches apart um, and then on the upper part here you're gonna want to put just one of these I use a little one barrel swivel put it through there and then I go over I'll go like six times on this keep a loop in there right there I run it through here and I turn this over and bring it back through this loop I don't know if you can see that and then I use my mouth because you're gonna get some saliva on there you got to guide this down see how that gets guided down and I'll use my mouth on this part right here and pull it tight while I push this down so it, it you have to keep resistance on this as as you push this down to tighten that knot on this one you can also just spin it six times and go through it once but going through it twice going through the first hole and then looping back through that second loop uh, just you know helps helps with braid uh, you know also mono from slippage it's just another uh, another uh, form of resistance so that that knot doesn't slip on you and then on this end here is where you're gonna put your weight and you want to do a snap swivel down here so that tight the same way as the top one two three four five six and then through here and through here same thing work it down with your hands and I'll hold this with my mouth while I do this See, and then you clip your tag ends. Alright guys, so there's the swivel that goes to your main line. You tie that on the same way you tied that on. And then there's your one drop, your two drop. And then right here is your snap swivel. What you want to do with this, put whatever weight you desire depending on current and whatnot on there. And then this right here what your end result looks like you have your sinker on the end that comes up to your T-knot and 
that goes to your main line. This is what that rig looks like. See how it doesn't tangle up? And it just spins with that weight down there. When it's on the bottom, it's going to look a little different. It's going to look like that when you're fishing it. And that is the pompano rig. You can use that for catfish. Um, you know, any time of bottom fishing, you can use it for trout, you know, whatever. Um, you might not want the floats on there and the beads. Depends what you're going for, what bait you're using. But uh, this has got me on a lot of fish, and I hope this video helped you guys out. These are the three different ones. So this one here, that's the twisted one with the T-knot. And this one's just the double loop knot. I don't, it's probably not called that, but where you just loop it through two or three times. You don't twist it up. Um, so this, you know. Um, and then this one's twisted up uh, with that easy knot. So this one's the fastest, the first one I showed you. This one takes a little bit more time, and then this one's the most time consuming. Sometimes the fish are in the area and I broke off or something and I'll just go with this one just because it gets me back in the water faster. But I uh, hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, please like and subscribe if it did. Comment. Let me know if there's any other videos uh, that you would like to see. Any other rigs or anything like that. Or if you have tips uh, for me, please let me know. Thanks.